Kia ora kato. Welcome to another another edition of the Hottie Sports Podcast with me, Maka, and me good mate Mahona is here this week. Welcome, yeah, Kia ora kato. Kia ora kato, bro. How are you, mate? Oh, yeah, sorry, not I bad, missed not last bad. week, mate. Sorry uh, about that. Yeah, no worries. We uh, have got a couple of very special guests. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I spoke to Diamond Black's manager, Scott Campbell, who uh, is here again once again. Welcome, Scott. And Thank also, you, veteran outfielder. I'm calling you veteran, Maxie. I know you're only 29, but it seems like you've been around for about 38 years. Downtown Max Brown, welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. Good seeing all you guys again after <laughs> yeah, long couple of years. It certainly has been, certainly has been. Now, the boys are coming in uh, from Arizona, where they are preparing at the moment for the World Baseball Classic Qualifier coming up in Panama in about three or four days' time. Uh, it's their last 24 hours in Arizona, and uh, unbelievably, one of their warm-up games got washed out. Scott, what the hell happened? You're in Arizona. Oh, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, we finished BP, got our pregame done, getting ready to play, and next minute the, the, the skies open up with some of the biggest rain droplets I think many of us have seen. And as you said, unfortunately, within 10 minutes that field was mud and, and, and that was the end of that. So, yeah, pretty pretty disappointing, but hey, we adapted. And I guess uh, when that rain happened, the temperature, you know, dropped from 42 degrees to 38. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Good old Arizona. Maxie, good to see your smiling face again. Uh, you must oh, be delighted yeah. to be back in the uh, Diamond Blacks camp. Oh, no doubt. Um, good to be back with the boys. Um, just talking to uh, Pinky, like right when we got in. It's like, man, it's crazy. We haven't seen each other in almost three years. It's just, yeah, kind of baffling that it's been that long. And yeah, I haven't been down in New Zealand in a couple of years. It's just, no, nah, it's good to, be, uh, good to be back with everyone. And I mean, it seems like we just saw each other yesterday, picked up right where we left off. So what um, what have you been doing in preparation uh, leading up to the camp and obviously the the WBC? You've had a bat in your hand, I guess. Yeah. So I mean, obviously the last couple of years haven't been a lot of baseball. I mean, Tuatara have been cancelled, obviously. Um, and then back home, um, I've just been back home in Seattle, so I'm kind of been limited to what baseball I had up there. Uh, but actually, this summer I played with my old uh, college summer team. Um, they played a full season, so I didn't play. A whole season. Um, I've been also working as a personal trainer, doing uh, uh, private lessons for kids and stuff. So I've, I've been around the game still and played probably, I don't know, 20 games or so this uh, summer and been hitting in the cage and, and staying in shape, obviously always working out. That uh, all six foot seven inches of you. Good stuff. Exactly. <laughs> um, Scott, on a, um, from a team perspective, how's, the, uh, how's the, the roster of 28 starting to come together now? Yeah, we're shaping up really well. I mean, I think the reason we come to Phoenix and spend a week here playing and training is to you kind of knock those cobwebs, last cobwebs out of the, of the guys and make sure we start, you know, culturally fitting together and, and preparing to play down in Panama. And, yeah, you know, I've been really proud of the effort the guys have put in and this extremely challenging conditions. You know, it's, it's really hot here and that's not easy. Um, but we've, we've done really well over the last six or seven days to ensure that you know, we feel in a, in a really good position for the guys to be comfortable at the plate and, and on the mound to, to go out and, and compete. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've done exactly what we intended to do here. Um, and you've got a, a, a colonel from the Army and a police detective looking after the uh, team. I guess everything's being run in uh, military precision. Uh, and I love it. I love it. But, uh, yeah. It's been fantastic. We've got a great management staff here. And, you know, like I, like I said, every day the schedule is and the guys know what they're doing minute to minute. So I think from a player's perspective and, and from a, a manager's perspective, it's been, you know, really, really good to ensure that we've uh, been structured and, and um, you know, preparing the way that we needed to. So it's, it's been fantastic. Hey, guys, the World Baseball Classic. Now, how, how long has it been going on? Look, I'm a bit of, you know, I don't know a hell of a lot about what you guys are doing. Tell me about it. I'm a rookie. I'm a, I, I, I don't know a hell of a lot. So tell me, how long have you guys been involved? Who are you going to play in this? And how important is this in the in the build up um, for, for New Zealand baseball? You take it, Max. Come on, you have a crap. Yeah, I mean, well, how long have you been I've involved? Been, I've been involved in 2012. Um, so yeah, it's been 10 okay. years. Wow. Um, yeah, I was uh, yeah in college still. So a lot of these guys who are uh, here now for the first time, um, it's kind of a flashback for me. I'm like, wow, I was your guys' age when I uh, had my first WBC, and kind of just 
so random how it happened. I was just eating lunch and um, ended up talking to Ryan Flynn. And next yeah. thing I know, a few months later, I sent in some video of me hitting and throwing. And then uh, I'm in Taiwan playing against Chinese Taipei in center field. So um, pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, no, this is um, obviously big for especially the guys who have been around me, um, Scott, Lammy, and uh, Pinky. I think those are the original four from the first time. I'm pretty sure. So, no, this yeah. is it's Plus so five. special. Yeah. And Bo, yeah, obviously Bo when um, he arrives in Panama. So, um, no, pretty special. I mean, we got, I mean, good group of guys. And um, like I said, it's so fun. And, um, yeah, it's like we saw each other yesterday. So, now big things upon the horizon. And, and who do you play? And how important is this for New Zealand baseball, guys? Oh, look, I mean, this is the like one of the premier events of baseball, right? And the WBC is is the you know the initiative of Major League Baseball to 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 grow the game globally. And you know, obviously, like Max said, we've been doing this thing for ten years. And for me, you know, the last two times Rome was as a player, and this time as a manager, I I, I really you know truly believe that this allows us to continue to develop and and give further pathways and and visibility to players of, of all ages all ages within the New Zealand you know baseball community. In terms of um, who we play, it's slightly structured differently this year. Obviously, we've got um, a six-team pool versus four teams as they've done in the past. And, you know, we're the, we're the bottom seed for, for the, I guess, the COVID impact it's had on us over the last few years. We haven't really had a lot of chance to go play internationally. And, you know, we've got some pretty tough competition in Panama and Nicaragua and Brazil, probably the top three teams in the, in the qualifiers. And, and then we've got Argentina and Pakistan on the other side. So... You know, I'm I'm confident that we can go and compete and and you know certainly put a, a, a great foot forward and and if not qualify, we you know we'd be a tough hard, uh, opponent to to beat on the day. So you're playing the home top, home side over there. What sort of crowd are you expecting? Well, Probably we may big, play the home right? side, right? No. Yeah, it'll be massive. It'll be massive. Uh, wow, that'll be fantastic. I see that um, Great Britain qualified out of the uh, the Europe group the other day. That was a bit of a surprise. Yeah, Kent Blackstone, a uh, Tuatara favorite. He, uh, yeah, got to play with the Great Britain team, which is um, pretty cool for him to get the chance to do that and go on to the next round next year. So, have they got a name? Are they are they called the Kings, maybe, or the Great Britain? <laughs> Great Britain Queens. Oh, sure. Queens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Scott, have you had a chance to um, get a look at some some games of the opposition you're going to be facing next week? Yeah, we haven't had a lot of chance to to really review any video or anything. In fact, you you know you're pro probably going to laugh. I I literally received the rosters for the other teams 30 minutes ago. So uh, once I get off this call, I'll be uh, catching up with my coaching staff and sending it out, and we'll start that um, you know scouting process. So probably a great time for you know we've got a, a long day of travel tomorrow, and we can hopefully do a little bit of work on the plane if we've got some internet and and start that that process. But you know, at the end of the day, in this in this short form tournament, it's it's typically not around you know who, who the other teams have. It's more around how how we go and compete. And and yeah, absolutely, all the information we can gather is great. But um, you know, making sure that guys who need to play functions will do that. You know, like the big gazelle here on the call is obviously a guy we want to get on base because he's he, he moves quickly and and is going to be a good guy for us to score runs with, right? And how do we enable that to happen? Um, are you getting close to? being able to pick your uh, starting nine? <laughs> Great question. Max is probably itching for me to say it. No, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we've got there. I think, you know, we had three goals in terms of when we came, um, you know, to Phoenix and, and that was obviously to prepare our team and, and to get everyone the opportunity to, to go out and compete so that we could, you know, uh, identify and, and kind of put together a bit of an idea of who's going to play and what function. Um, and, and we've done a really good job of that, which ena enables me to now put to be, together our best roster. Um, so I think most of the guys know where they sit and um, that there won't be too many surprises on, on game one. Yeah, we're looking forward to that uh, up against Brazil on the 30th, your time. It'll probably be 1st of October, our time. So we'll be uh, logging into YouTube or MLB TV and watching those games. Um, Maxi, it's, uh, it's quite different to the... The two previous WBC qualifiers you've been to, obviously they only had four teams and it was was really a, a, a sort of an Asia-Oceania mix, wasn't it? But uh, you're going to be coming yeah. up against a lot different teams in, uh, in, in Panama. 
Oh yeah, no, definitely. Um, I mean, like we said, those, those Latin teams, um, Latin countries, I mean, they, they love their baseball. Um, so they just kind of, they grow up and it's, it's baseball really. That's the main, main sport I would say. Um, so it's definitely going to be, um, interesting for sure playing, uh, um, these other teams that, um, I mean, we're used to playing, like you said, those Oceania teams. So, um, but no, it's going to be fun. And I mean, like the, I just think back to that 2012 WBC with Chinese Taipei and all the thousands of fans and whatnot. So I'm kind of expecting a similar atmosphere with, I don't know, maybe the trumpets and just chants and, and craziness, which I mean, it's, it's fun. I love it personally. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever been down to that part of the world? No, never. I've never even been to Mexico, honestly. And that's our neighbor right there. I've never been. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to go. Um, been telling people I'm, I'm hoping to see, I've heard there's like, wild monkeys running around so i'm hoping that's for real like uh, i i don't know that's that's what i'm looking forward to well there will be around the diamond uh yeah, that's true yeah Ma Ma maxi tell me about you i mean obviously uh you don't sound like a kiwi um tell me about your story through baseball um how did how did how did you get to play for new zealand i mean what's your new zealand connection yeah so my dad uh, is from new zealand so um so I have dual citizenship. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, growing up, I was always um, going down to New Zealand every couple of years, see the family. Yeah, um, so you grew up over in the but, States, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, born in the States. Uh, my mom's from the States. So I'm from Seattle um, originally. And uh, yes. yeah, never in a million years would have thought that I'd be playing for the New Zealand national team. And kind of when it happened, um, I remember talking to my parents and they're like, what, New Zealand baseball? I'm like, I have no idea. I talked to this guy. <laughs> wants me to send in some video i'm like i have no idea yeah um and then yeah like i said not long after i was um playing in the wbc um yeah yeah and then after that i went to kansas state university and then got drafted by the uh, arizona diamondbacks so i'm um, just around the corner here and then um yeah the last four or five years was down uh playing in uh, australia in new zealand and abl and played some club ball and obviously with the two atara so yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a Kiwi fun Kiwi connection, eh? You feel connected to your Kiwi brothers? Oh, yeah. I was, yeah? I mean, yeah. I mean, my dad always, when I was little, watching the All Blacks. So I'd get up at like Beautiful. two, three in the morning watching the All Blacks with them. So um, definitely uh, in my blood. And yeah, uh, definitely, definitely. Oh, we'll Kiwi take him. Heart. We'll take him. We'll take him. Sounds good. Good man. <laughs> well, right. Man. And um, <laughs> Scott, uh, you're obviously a big All Blacks uh, supporter. Did you manage to catch the. Bledisloe, the uh, be well, well, about two o'clock in the morning your time. Ah, oh, oh, we seem to have lost Scott. I thought he was looking rather pensive there for a while, isn't <laughs> yeah. he? Yeah. Rather, rather serious. We're... <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Um, I that's think we've pretty much uh, come to our time. Um, Scott has departed. He's off to uh, talk rosters with. Uh, with his Fair enough. coaching staff. Uh, Max, yeah, right. Important mate, business. <laughs> all the very best against uh, Brazil and the games that follow. We'll be following it very closely back here in New Zealand. Um, and it's just, it's great to see your smiling face again. And um, he's hoping the uh, the Diamond Blacks can do the business in Panama. Yeah, thank you guys. No, it's been awesome uh, to talk to you. And like I said, been awesome to get the boys back together. And um, now looking forward to uh, Panama. So we've got some... Exciting things uh, on the horizon, like I said. But yeah, good to be back. Hey Max, just one last question before we go. Um, yeah. Do you play? Do you play MLB the Show on uh, PlayStation or Xbox? I've played it a handful of times. Honestly, I'm I'm pretty horrible at it. Um, yeah, I don't have I don't have a PlayStation or Xbox myself. Just mm. with my buddies, and yeah, I'm pretty pretty trash. <laughs> well, well, I was playing the other day, and um, I was standing the road to the show, and I went to select my character, and I tried to select the New Zealand character. They had every other bloody country in the world. They didn't have New Zealand as an option. So go out there, smash them, create history for New Zealand, and make sure that New Zealand's on the next edition. Okay. That's what I like to hear. That's, you know, if, if that's a goal in itself right there. That's we'll crazy, make that happen. man. We're in every that other sports game. There's no New Zealand. What's going on? Yeah. What's yeah. up with that? Yeah, that's mate. Messed up. Let's sort this out. Let's sort that out. Oh, we will. We'll sort it out. We got gotcha. you. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, Max. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Cheers, bud.